Hi, everybody. It's Mrs. Delanis. We are back for another celebrity teacher interview. So today we have the fabulous Mr. Green. So welcome, Joe. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks. Um, surviving, so yeah. surviving all this craziness? Yeah, we, we are surviving. Uh, we got our three kids and, and both of us working. We're, we're finding a way. So your wife's been working from home for a while. How's, how are you finding how hard that is for her? Uh, yeah, it's just not easy. That's for sure. And I think having me home, I kind of drive her nuts sometimes because <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm in her bubble. I'm screwing up her routine. So um, I realize how tough it is to, to have the kids at home and trying to teach online at the same time. So, yeah, a newfound respect for, for her. So Briley's in kindergarten or first grade, right? First grade. Yep. And then so Jayden, you guys are doing homework on top of that. Yeah, so she's she's been doing her homework. What what we usually do is I wake up at seven a.m. and try to get my schoolwork done, and then she gets up and starts at eight thirty, and then my wife starts teaching at eight thirty. So uh, it's been good, but hers has been really organized. So she's she's doing pretty good with it. Well, that's good. Yeah. And, and, but you you it's not once you have kids at home because you know I've got. I don't have kids at home, but I have grandkids that I hear about. And it's like, oh, my goodness, I'm so glad I'm not trying to teach somebody out of home while doing all of this. That's a yeah. lot. Yeah, it is. It's it's challenging for sure. So <laughs> we'll figure it out, though. Yeah, we're all in this together. That's for sure. OK, so I'm going to have you just take a minute. Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do at Pokey, what you teach, what you coach. And then I have some questions for you. Perfect. Um, yeah, so my name is Joe Green. I teach uh, U.S. history, uh, mostly freshmen, and, and I've loved that. I uh, miss the students, miss the kids' faces. Um, so I've been doing that, and then I coach the, the boys' varsity basketball. And, uh, you know, I, I've, I've missed my guys. This is the time we usually start doing our, our spring ball and uh, miss our guys in open gyms, but uh, it's, it's been fun. I, I love Pokey. I, I, Pokey's uh, just been the best place for me and a great fit for me. And, and there's no place I'd rather be. Well, we love you. We are thrilled that you are ours. So thank you. All right. So I have 50 random questions, just things I found on the internet. They're just silliness. So you're going to pick five numbers between one and 50. So give me one number. Uh, 20. All right. If you could be any superhero, who would you want to be and why? Ooh, any superhero. Um, gosh, I'm not, I got made fun of in my class because I wasn't into superheroes enough. Um, but it seems like Batman, Batman's maybe the most popular. He's, I feel like he's a tough guy and he has all sorts of cool gadgets and cars and weapons. So Batman for sure. Yeah, I like Batman. He's pretty cool. He's one of my favorites. I, I love all the Batman movies and, you know. Christian Bale's easy on the eyes, so that's a good thing. That makes it better. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure you were going to say Iron Man because I know your son loves Iron Man. He does. Well, he loves the song, actually, uh, yeah. Iron Man. So it's by, yeah, by Black Sabbath. So maybe I should have said Iron Man. He's going to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Batman can fly. Well, Iron Man can, too. Yeah. I don't know. Batman's got cool toys, though. They, they all do. <laughs> There's no bad superhero. Yeah. The only thing I'm not sure about Batman is is the whole association with the bats thing. So, yeah, that's true. Is... <laughs> All righty, give me another number. Uh, let's go with 12. What would I find in your fridge right now? Oh, geez. Uh, we have lots of eggs, lots of steak. I just bought a smoker just because... I was mostly bored, so we bought a lot of like steak and pork and and stuff to grill. So a lot of that, and then uh, some rock stars for me, <laughs> some energy drinks for the mornings. You know uh, those things are terrible for you, right? They're the diet ones. So I'm pretty sure they're healthy. Oh yeah, so it's a diet rock star. So because it has no sugar, it's better for you. All that That's caffeine and whatever <laughs> weirdness they put in there. That's what I tell my wife. But yeah. <laughs> The sugar was the probably one natural thing that wasn't bad for you. I know. We took it out. <laughs> <laughs> so meat and rock stars. And eggs and vegetables that my wife likes. I'm not big on vegetables. I'm showing how unhealthy I am, I guess, right now. <laughs> so, so you're a protein 
and a rock star person. Yeah, pretty much. Nothing too exciting. <laughs> I don't know. That steak sounds pretty good. We might just have to have a party at your house when this is all done. Yeah, I've turned into like we're quarantined. So all I do is work and then look forward to the next meal. I'm like Googling what to smoke. And uh, it's, it's been kind of fun. You know, I've found the same thing. I've, I used to cook a lot and then I stopped cooking because there's just two of us and it's, you know, no fun, but I've been cooking more. And it's like, you know, that quarantine 15 pounds is, I think for me, it's going to turn into quarantine 30. It's like, I've got to stop cooking all this food. <laughs> I think everybody's in that same boat. So we'll, we'll all be there together. <laughs> well, that's true, but I still don't want to be waddling down the hall with everybody. I just assume <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me another number. Uh, 23. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, man. I like, so I like fish food. It's Ben and Jerry's. It's got, mar it's a chocolate ice cream with marshmallows and chocolate chunks and caramel and a little bit of everything. <laughs> so, and they call it fish food? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. It's it's spelled P H I S H fish food. I don't know, but it's uh, Ben and Jerry's, and I've liked that pretty much my whole life. Right on. Well, yeah. I'm I, I'm I'm impressed you tried it because I would not try something that said fish food. <laughs> I'll pretty much eat anything. It's it's good and bad, I guess. <laughs> oh, it appealed to that meat lover in you, the fish thing. That's, That's probably right. it. Subconsciously, <laughs> it was speaking to you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more number. Uh, let's see, let's go with 11. When you go on vacation, when do you pack your suitcase? Oh man, I'm the worst at this. Usually I'll call my wife and say, hey, let's go to Bear Lake. And I pack right before we leave for the trip. So I'm terrible. I just throw random stuff in. I don't care how it's packed. I just want to get it done and get out of it. <laughs> That does not surprise me at all. <laughs> it drives my wife crazy because she's like a planner, organizer. I'm like, let's just go. Let's get out of here. So, yeah. That doesn't surprise me at all because uh, another per perfect example of why that is true for you is we're sitting in the – or we're standing on the pit floor, and you're getting ready to walk out and, and to talk to the student body about the upcoming game in Preston, and you're like, hey, I think we could get a bus. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe. And you just walk out there. <laughs> Have a bus. Like, well, I hope we are. <laughs> just just like, pants, Joe. <laughs> yeah, sometimes thoughts come into my mind and I just throw them out there. <laughs> no, that could be super fun. It could, I could, it's, it's, it's a really good trait, but it can also be a really frustrating trait. So, you know, I mean that that spontaneity I think is really fun. But um, I can, I can see where your wife is like, I'll kill him. <laughs> yeah, because she usually is like packing the kids and herself and the food. I'm like, it's easy. I'll just throw some clothes in and <laughs> we're good to go. But yeah, I, I drive her nuts a little bit with that. <laughs> it's a good thing you're learning how to cook. Yeah, she's uh, she's appreciated it because I haven't cooked very much at all during our, our marriage. So it's my turn for sure. All right. I have no idea how many questions we've done, but let's do one more. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go with 75. Is there 100 the numbers are 1 to 50, Joe, 1 to 50. <laughs> let's see. I was too excited for that question. Uh, let's go 45. <laughs> Some of these questions, I, you know, I didn't make up any of these. So how, violent, how violently do you have, the, have to fight the urge to scream when you hear the ice cream truck coming? <laughs> um, well usually it's a race between me and my kids to see who can get to the truck first so uh i guess if i'm, if I'm screaming for joy um then i fight that quite a bit so um yeah <laughs> oh i'm sure that you fight the urge to scream lots of times for a variety of reasons Sometimes I watch you. Sometimes I'm watching you coaching on the sideline, and I'm thinking, I wish I wasn't the principal because then I could really cut loose and just be like, "This is crap," ah, you know, whatever. And you're just, you know, and I mean, you handle it, but and sometimes you do scream, but you know, I mean, there are so many times that I'm just like, I don't, I don't know how he's keeping it under control because I'm ready to crawl through, you know, 
the crowd and just like come unglued on somebody sometimes. Well, if you could, if you could hear what was going through my mind, maybe you would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you're fighting that urge all the time, huh? Yes, I'm just kind of uh, a crazy person. People just don't realize I, I'm crazy on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we realize it, Joe. I think we realize it. <laughs> it's not a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not as much as you'd like it to be. No. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for joining us. It was fun getting to know you and laughing with you a little bit. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It's been, it's been fun. Miss all you guys. All right. We'll, we'll see you next time. Okay. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.